Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This is Nazmul Islam from Classy Devs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable the PlayStation debug mode. So let's get started. So before starting the deep dive of PlayStation debug mode, so let's know about the basic things of the PlayStation debug mode. The first question is what is debugging? As we know that debugging is the process of finding and resolving bugs within the computer program software or system so for the developer if something happen uh, in the code base then they can debug the code and they can use the tool like a debug tool and they can find the error where is the problem so it is it refers to identifying analyzing and removing error so this is very important uh, to debug where is the problem and to solve the issue by finding the problem now let's know why do you need to enable the precision debug mode actually if you are facing the following error in your uh, prestige back office or front office then you have to enable the precision debug mode first uh, like uh, if you add a new module or you just uh, change the code base from the back office or anywhere and you want to update your site or sometimes uh, you need to add a new module so you can see that some error arise so in that case you have to enable the debug mode so that you can see the where is the error happen we will see the practical in the next of uh, this video so by uh, enabling the debug mode so you can see about the different kind of error arise from the procedure like error 500 error 404 or your site is now blank no message is found or you, you don't know where is the issue so by enabling the prestige of debug mode uh, you will get where is the problem and you can fix that specific area so this is very very important for the developer to debug the problem so let's see now before activating the debug mode, uh, we have to make sure that uh, we have to clear the cache. So to clear the cache and the, you have to disable the smarty cache and CCC, that is a combined compression cache. So you can disable the smarty cache from your back office. So let's start now. To disable the combined compression cache from the back office, just go to the advanced parameter section. Here you can see the performance menu. Just click on that performance. Now go to the scroll down, and here you can see there is combined compress and cache. It is already disabled. If it is enabled for you, then just click on the disable and just click on the save. Now we will check the disable of the cache. So we don't want to keep it cache because we want to check the error or we want to debug our error or issue. So we don't need cache this kind of page or anything so just it is keep it disable and now here you can see the debug mode so just click on the debug mode here you can see the debug mode is now in disable just click on yes and just click on the save button so there is the update successful now we will check uh, our front office so let's see now friend uh, when i just check the front office after enabling the debug mode i have found a error so in your case it can be good but in my case i have just got the error and i will fix it now so this error i have to fix from my uh, hosting so i have just uh, logged into my hosting here here now i will just go to multi php ini editor so let's go there and you can see here the configure PHP and basic settings so here i will uh, set my domain so this is my domain here and now you can see a session dot save path so this session save path here is you can see the bar c panel PHP session so we will just uh, take it temp slash tmp so this uh this is how we can fix our issue so let's see i just click on the apply and now i will check the issue that it's worked or not well uh this is 
uh, the solve okay after enabling the debug mode here you can see some option arise in the bottom section there is a different kind of option this is for the enabling debug mode so now we will create a or we will generate a error and we will find the error from the debug mode in the front office so let's see now we will decrease the memory limit and we will see what is the error happen in our front office and we will get some option here that where is the problem happening and we can then resolve it again so let's just uh, it is now uh, it is given 320m so just let's do it now 20m and click on apply now just let's check out our front office just uh, click the reload button okay so here you can see the error is arise that is a uh, out of memory exception so this kind of memory is arise from the memory limit so we have to increase the memory limit but make sure, uh, remember that if you don't uh, if you don't just enable the debug mode you cannot see this error so we will also see that what will happen if we don't enable the error yeah, debug mode so let's see now so if you don't enable the PrestaShop debug mode then you will see this kind of page that is the basic page uh, sometimes when we browse the website we can see error 500 error 404 so this kind of error you will get but you will not get what is the where is the error or how can we solve the error so to get the specific problem so you must have to uh, enable the PrestaShop debug mode so now uh, to solve the issue let's increase the memory limit from 20 to 320 and now click on apply now just uh, browse the website so here is our website uh, we can access it now so there is no issue if you are not able to access the procedure back office then how can we enable the PrestaShop debug mode? So in that case, we have to enable the PrestaShop debug mode from the hosting server. At first, we have logged in to our hosting server. Now we have to find out the file manager. So here is our file manager. Let's click over it. And now we have to find the root folder where we have installed our PrestaShop. Just click over that. Now we have to find out the config folder. Here is the config folder. Just click on that. Now we have to find out the defiance.inc.php. Just click on that and click to edit. So here you can see some code here. At first you can see here is the comment out code that is debug only. So in the debug only here you can see psmood dev. So if define psmood dev, define psmood dev is false. So here we have to just change it false to true. So if psmode dev equal to true, so when it is true, then it will come in this condition, then it will display error will be on. So it means if you keep it true, then we will see the display error in the front office. So just you can make it false to true and that's it. And make sure it is now in the on state. So if you don't change anything, then it will be definitely on state. And just click on the save change so this is how we can change the enable debug mode or we can enable the debug mode from the presta shop hosting server so this is how about our tutorial if you want to learn more about the presta shop debug mode then you can read this article and we will put this article link to the com uh, to the description box and if you have any question please just uh, leave your comment and if you don't if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and keep subscribe the channel to get the more video thank you